Uh, it's been challenging. Uh, it's been a, a difficult, heavy week. Uh, the game last night was was a difficult, heavy game, but um, it's one where uh, you know we've drawn drawn strength and uh, tried to pull together as a team, as a family, and uh, try to push forward. Is energy um, something on your mind uh, for tonight's game? Yeah, different kind of challenge, right? Uh, you have all the emotions in the world last night uh, with the tribute and, and our fan base right there. And um, you know, now you're playing in a second night of back-to-back -back on the road. And, um, you know, it's just it, it has a completely different feel to the game. Uh, you know, our guys are mostly drained, emotionally drained from this week. And we got in late at night, so they're going to be physically drained as well. Um, but we've been uh, pretty resilient in back-to-backs this year. And we'll draw on those experiences so far this year. Uh, you know, showing a lot of mental toughness uh, to fight through any of that, that potential fatigue and uh, hopefully come out and get a victory tonight. Coach, did you see the tribute outside the Golden One Center tonight? And uh, what's your reaction to that? And really, all these tributes all across the world. Sort of yeah, I, I did not see the one here, uh, but I imagine it's, uh, it's, it's special. Um, you know, they're, obviously, they're, they're all over the world, like you alluded to. Uh, it's, it's deserved. It's uh, you know just a devastating time for uh, the basketball world, and um, you know it's great that they did that here on the visiting arena. Did you guys get together all during the day, or did everyone? We did. We had our, uh, our normal uh, morning meeting, and um, you know did our, uh, our wrap up from last night, and uh, you know just uh, you know, the film session and, and prep for today. Is this just? Sort of an ideal situation after last night, just jump right back into it. Probably, you know, um, we're all a little, we're all a little bit tired, so um, you know, it would have been nice to um, you know to be able to just kind of recover from a you know difficult light, night last night. But you know, there's uh, there's obviously benefits to uh, getting right back out there, playing again, and um, you know, hopefully our guys will uh, respond to that. Is everyone available? Uh, Alex is going to be a game time his decision, but is uh, expected to play, and everyone else uh, expected to play as well. Is there any thought, Frank, of anybody not playing just because it's, I mean, it's such a quick turnaround or such an emotional game? Um, not really. You know, I mean, we, we give our, we always keep an eye on our vets, and you know, they they sort of have a, you know, an understanding that if um, if there's a potential back to back where they need to, to sit out. Um, you know, they can come to us and we can communicate that. Um, but I think in this situation, everybody's expecting a play. Um, you shared a story about him calling up YouTube for Kobe. And he's been talking to his son in the bed this week. And part of their bedtime routine is to watch some Kobe clips. Um, I understand, you know, he's still grieving going on. But is there any personal thing that, that you've done this week in terms of looking at photos or anything like that? With, uh, with my family or with the oh, team? Just, just, Anything you like to share about how you remember Kobe this past week? Yeah, I mean, I, I've told my my daughters uh, stories, and you know, I mean, they you know, they they know who he is and what he was all about. You know what I mean? Uh, they're old enough to have seen uh, the tail end of his career, and every time we played the Lakers, it was a uh, just a, a huge, big deal, uh, regardless of uh, the stakes of that particular game. Um, you know, because of him and, and the Lakers. So I mean, you know, they're aware, and then. Yeah, the coverage was 24/7, you know. So I mean, we watched all the stories and um, you know all that stuff, that type of stuff, all week. Coach, Bo, what was it like coaching against Kobe, even though those days when he was in Indiana? What was those times? Yeah, he was, uh, you know, he was the most feared man in the league, you know, and uh, most respected. You know, you know that uh, you know it was going to be a, a very difficult to beat him anytime you're playing against against those guys and. Uh, you know, just for what he represented, you know, you know he's going to dominate the game on both ends of the floor. Uh, you hope that you go into the final few minutes up by 10, or, or you're in trouble. You know what I mean? Because if he had the ball, uh, you know, late with a chance to win it, you knew he was going to win it. Um, so, you know, it was uh, it was always a game you you know you were excited about. You know what I mean? Because of what, what he represented. Uh, Frank, you have a week where you don't have to stray too far from sort of home base and, and have a couple away games in the state. And how important is that to just not kind of stretch yourselves in that way and then have the travels? Yeah, well, you know, we have to we have to be really mindful of our uh, mental and physical rest. You know, and uh, you know, if this was a stretch where we were going to be bouncing all over the country, you know, that would just make things more challenging. So. Um, 
you know, the schedule you alluded to with a couple home games next week, um, this in-state game, the one-state game coming up next week. Um, hopefully that will give us uh, an opportunity to catch our breath. Kind of given the situation Sunday, was it a little hard to get on the flight today? Um, a little bit. I mean, you thought about it, but, you know, I mean, you know, most of us that have been in this, I mean, you know, uh, transportation you know, or, you know, by, a, by a plane is, is something that is, is part of our lives. And, uh, but, you know, first time back on a plane, you do think about it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.